Good morning, everyone. This is your Wednesday edition. Is it Wednesday? Yes. This is your Wednesday edition of Weather Where You Are. And we actually have weather. Thank God. Right? The last few weeks have been beautiful, but guys, man, do we need rain. Man, do we need rain. So, rain is on the way, and as new data comes in, it's looking like it's going to be heavier. It looks like it's going to be more widespread. It looks like it's going to last longer into tomorrow. So, let's get into it, all right? Here's a look at the system. This is actually remnants from a tropical low in the Pacific Ocean. Moved east. Uh, that low moved over warm Gulf Ocean waters, kind of exploded. You could see all that rain down to our south now. Um, still dry here. Won't be dry for very much longer. Maybe another three or four hours, okay? So here's your forecast. Uh, by 3 p.m., the kids are getting out of school. There might be a few raindrops out there. But essentially, by the time you eat dinner and certainly through the entire evening, a light rain will spread in. It will be pretty widespread through the remainder of the evening. So let's stop the clock for you at 7 p.m. You can see it is much rainier across Metro Atlanta. See those pockets of yellow? That's good news, guys. That's even like a heavier rain for dinnertime plans. I know that it's not uh, the most beneficial to outdoor plans, but it's going to be very beneficial to the fall color. Um, we have gone three weeks without real measurable rainfall. So the leaves, they respond to that. When it is dry, those leaves, they change colors and they fall off the trees really quickly. So if we want that good fall color, this rain is coming at the perfect time. All right. It does look like this rain is going to continue pretty heavily. Look from Atlanta down to the south. That is downpours overnight tonight. That's great news. And I've stopped the clock tomorrow at 8 a.m. to show you. Uh, most of the rain looked like it was going to be out of here for the morning commute. Still looks like we're going to see some remnant rain for the morning commute tomorrow. So just be aware of that. Until around 9 a.m., it looks pretty wet. Then it looks like we dry out. Sun comes back out. At least across North Georgia, the sun comes back out. That allows temperatures to go into the 70s tomorrow. Meanwhile, south of the city looks pretty cloudy. Temperatures stay in the 60s. So here's our new rainfall totals. Oh, such great news. Still not seeing much measurable rain in the mountains. But Metro Atlanta is probably going to tap into possibly three-fourths of an inch, possibly an inch of rain. Look at down towards Thomaston, LaGrange, Griffin, two inches of rain. I'm not ruling out some from flooding possibilities. The ground is going to absorb a lot of this rain, but two inches in one night, that's a lot of rainfall. So just be aware of that on your way out the door tomorrow south of the city. You could see some pockets of isolated flooding, okay? Here's why we need the rain so much. We've gotten 0.100th, we've gotten 1 100th of an inch of rain this month, okay? It's usually the driest month, but we saw a really dry September. Now we're going to really dry, dry October, and we're actually in a deficit of about six and a half inches on the year, so we need to put a dent in that. Looks like we will tonight. That's really good news, and it'll also be out of our hair by tomorrow, okay? You'll see morning showers in the afternoon, mostly cloudy and breezy, quite breezy. High temperatures will be somewhere in the low 70s. All right, let's talk about this weekend. Ooh, baby. It's going to get cold this weekend. It's a split weekend forecast. Saturday's going to feel amazing. Sunday's going to feel like a whole different season. So once again, top left is your time frame. You can see Friday at noon is pretty mild. Saturday, it's mild. Then that cold air moves in Sunday, and man, does it take over the eastern United States by Monday. So here's the current weekend forecast, all right? You wake up Saturday to some fog, maybe a stray shower. Clouds are going to take a minute to break, but after the time you eat lunch, they'll break. We'll end the day with partly cloudy skies. It'll feel so great outside, mid to upper 70s. But then that cold air arrives Saturday night, okay? So by Sunday morning, it's windy, it's chilly, and temperatures struggle to reach the mid-60s on Sunday. It will be mostly cloudy. It will feel like a completely different season. Now, we are airing the Pride Parade on Peachtree TV. We are all going to be out there. It's going to be a great time. If you guys have ever been, it is a party in Midtown. But in years past, you've been able to wear tank tops to that party. I mean, people have like, not been wearing clothes. That is not going to be the case this year, all right? Mm -mm. You're going to want to bundle up on Sunday. And guys, it's going to get even colder next week. That cold air continues to sink in. The National Weather Service was mentioning the possibility of frost. Frost! In Metro Atlanta, Tuesday and Wednesday mornings. Certainly the coldest mornings we've had so far uh, this fall season. So this is very abnormal for this time of year. Our average high is 76. The only day we're going to be above that is Saturday. 
So unseasonably cool weather takes over, okay, for the third week of October. And I'm telling you guys, it looks pretty chilly through the end of October. Now, did you guys see my winter forecast last week? Because I was calling for a pretty chilly winter, and I don't know. This kind of looks like that's where we're headed. These are usually our average temperatures, I don't know, beginning of, beginning of November, mid-November. Mid-November, our average high is 65, so it's certainly going to feel more like late fall next month than like early fall, okay? So let's go through the seven-day. Again, rain this evening, overnight rain, showers last through the morning commute tomorrow, then mostly cloudy, breezy, mild. Friday, we're going to see a warm front move in. When warm fronts move through, it's gross, okay? When warm fronts move in, it's kind of cloudy, it's drizzly, it's damp, it's gloomy. That's the way we're going to end the week, okay? So... Indoor plans for Friday, probably best. Outdoor plans for Saturday, for sure. Again, we wake up with the clouds and the fog, but we end the day with sunshine, upper 70s. Then that cold air moves in Sunday. It's going to be breezy. It's going to be chilly. Same thing on Monday. It's going to be breezy. It's going to be chilly. Even though the breeze dies down on Tuesday, we get a reinforcement of the cold air. I'm not really not highs in the 50s for some areas on Tuesday. I mean, that is like winter temps, all right? I right, hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed it. Could you tell? Can you tell that I like that I do this for a living? All right. It's just interesting. The weather's interesting this time of year. We get a conveyor belt. Courtney called it a conveyor belt of cold fronts. We just get a lot of the jet stream starts doing crazy stuff. Our weather starts doing crazy stuff. We get a lot of pattern changes and that's what we're going to see this week. So be ready for it, guys. Thank you for tuning in to this Wednesday edition of Weather Where You Are. Tomorrow, we'll dig a little bit deeper into that cold shot coming for uh, the end of the weekend. And next week, we'll take a look at maybe the frost potential and when we usually see our first frost. Should we do it? We'll do it. We'll do it tomorrow at 1130. All right, guys. Have a great day. Stay dry. Um, be excited. that When this rain starts to fall, I need you to all think about the beautiful fall colors that we're going to see because of this rain.